John Merrick is treated as a freak show meant for people to gawk at for his severe deformities. Step in and see for yourself. It isn't until a doctor takes notice and brings him to a hospital where the audience sees actor Stephen Mayer transform into the elephant man. I have to start out as a normal person and then transform myself on stage. It adds more to having a normal person transform into the character and it's very interesting. One of the most unique takes of the Bemidji Community Theater's adaptation is the lack of prosthetics for the role. Disfiguring your body and keeping that in a way it can be quite painful, but it adds to the character. But there are plenty more transformations for the audience to look forward to. Even an actress who is at first paid to be John Merrick's friend can see beyond his exterior. And then I start to actually develop feelings for him because unlike everyone else that I've met in my life, he's actually true and honest and sincere the whole time. I am very pleased to have made your acquaintance, Mr. Merrick. It's this message that shines through for the play's cast and crew. But even nowadays, how people who are different are seen as freaks and are made fun of and displayed. And what we're trying to come across is it does not matter who you are or how odd you feel, everyone is beautiful inside. Oh! Oh, my dear God. Oh. Director Julie Kaiser hopes that people will leave the theater with a renewed sense of hope. Uh, we are, as a people, very, very quick to judge, and we look at things on a superficial level, and uh, don't, don't, al don't always look d deep enough to find dignity and humanity, and this story really asks us to do that. The theater group will be holding six performances of The Elephant Man here at the Chief Theater. In Bemidji, with this week's In Focus, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.